what proof can you legally require in the face of a reasonable accommodation request for an emotional support animal? Hi, I'm Zebbie Amy Voss, licensed real estate salesperson. We see emotional support animals or ESAs everywhere now, but there is still a great deal of confusion about the difference between an ESA and a service animal. A service animal is defined by the ADA as a dog that is trained to perform a task related to a specific disability. The dog does not need to be certified, can be trained by a professional or the owner, and there are no breed restrictions. As such, with very limited exceptions like an operating room, service dogs are permitted everywhere. Landlords and their insurance companies cannot deny service animals. When encountering a request for a service animal, landlords are permitted to ask two questions, but only if the disability is not obvious. Number one, is the service animal required because of the disability? This is a yes or no question. The landlord cannot ask what the disability is. And two, what work or task has the service animal been trained to perform? Medical documentation cannot be requested. And again, if the disability is obvious, landlords cannot ask either question. An emotional support animal's role is to provide comfort and emotional assistance to their owners related to a disability, not to perform a task specific to that disability. ESAs can be any type of animal, not only dogs. When encountering a request for an ESA, landlords are permitted to ask for documentation that there is a disability related need for the ESA, but only if the disability is not obvious. Documentation should be on the letterhead of a trained service provider licensed in the landlord's state. This is similar to a prescription for the ESA. Certifications from a website are generally insufficient. Both emotional support animals and ADA recognized service animals are protected under the Federal Fair Housing Act and New York State Human Rights Law. As such, both service animals and emotional support animals must be permitted to live in the owner's dwelling and landlords are not legally allowed to charge more. However, while only service animals are permitted by law to go anywhere a human can go, ESAs are not. If I can help you navigate making or receiving a reasonable accommodation in housing, please reach out. I'm Zebby Amy Voss, helping you write the next chapter in your singular story.